And if Don McEnroe, I haven't gotten a good view of him since he's gotten his warm up off, but I would guess that he has a T-shirt on underneath his tennis shirt, which is smart because that helps keep your keep you warm. I'll see when he turns around. I don't believe he has. McEnroe to serve. No, he does not. Ready to play. The other day he did do that. So McEnroe to serve. John McEnroe has not played a seated player in the 1984 U.S. Open Quiet, as yet. Please. Jimmy Connors is seated number three. These two have had a long, long wait. I'm sure they expected to be out there by at least four o'clock. Seats quickly, please. Maybe a little Thank bit later you. than that, but it's here we go. McEnroe with a great left-handed serve. Not entirely dark yet. Quiet, please. Hey, Thank Howard. you. Just as he made his toss. Love 15. Well, that's Jimmy's strength. Interesting to see if, if McEnroe serves the same same way he did at Wimbledon in that he served a lot of balls straight at Connors' body. He didn't go out wide often in the ad court because Connors has that one hand he can slide down the line. Pick up this early in the match. See what I was thinking. This kind of light. See what I mean? He's having a lot of trouble, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it. We talk about these things. They're just possibilities. If we knew, you know, we, we'd be betting in Vegas instead of being here. Okay, McEnroe. Well, let's go down to Brent Musburger right now. First game. All right, Pat, thank you, and congratulations to Martina Navratilova, who's loosening the laces on her sneakers so she can relax a bit. Martina, the first set when Chris beat you and the crowd fell in line behind the underdog, did it rattle you at all at that moment, or did you feel I can get back in control of this? Well, they were behind her from the first point. I mean, I knew that. I just didn't realize it was going to be as, as uh, drastic as it was, but, uh, you know, I knew what I was out there for, and uh, it was still one against one. The crowd wasn't hitting any balls for her. And I had plenty of people out there that were dying for me to win, so I knew where my support was. Here's match point now, Martina, and you can take a look at it and tell us exactly what was developing out here. Uh, well, now I was just trying to get the first serve, which I did. And here I sort of missed it a volley. And Chris, I didn't think she got it, but I ended up, I was okay. You know, she wasn't even trying to run for that one. But uh, by then I, I felt I was in control when I was serving for the match because I had been serve, serving volleying well, serving better by then and was able to hold my serve pretty comfortably most of the time. Martina, which one gives you better satisfaction, the first one a year ago or repeating now? Well, last year it was because it was the first time, so it was very special and, uh, you know, not having to answer those questions anymore. But this year was, uh, I think, more satisfying because it was such a close match, because I really had to fight so many things. I just didn't feel things were going my way, but I was able to reach deep down and, uh, and pull it out, so I was very happy. Congratulations. Thank you. McEnroe and Connors continue, and let's go upstairs to Pat Summerall. All right, and we certainly add our congratulations to Martina as well. <laughs> I, I, I agree, excuse me, Pat. Uh, Martina didn't play as well as, as she can play, but she still figured a way to win. That's what true champions do. And Chris certainly also deserves a great deal of credit. Love 15. That tactic right there is something that McEnroe has started doing against Connors and seems to have been working pretty well because he's been winning all the matches that they've played. 
That's, that's the one that surprised me. I saw them play in Canada and I couldn't believe he was taking on his first serve and hitting it and running to the net. It was almost like, I don't think your serve's anything. <laughs> Even if he doesn't win the point, you know, it's still sort of a bit of an insult. Here it is again. Off he the gets first serve. quickly. He's 15, 30. I don't know whether it's the racket that he's playing with, the mid-size racket that McEnroe has. It's strung around something 45, 50 pounds, incredibly loose. Normally, you'd have that about 70 pounds. McEnroe's? Yeah. He's in the 40s. He's in the low 40s. Uh. Jimmy's low, too. He's in the 50s. But it seems that uh, McEnroe can just run at the ball, take very little backswing, and still generate power. Sort of catapults it off of there. It's interesting. Uh, I'll give you a stat in a moment about uh, uh, Connor's serving. The points he wins on his first serve is against the second serve. Now you expect McEnroe to come in. He'll be trying to. Unless it's a good deep... This is and this is pressure on Connors. Constant. Look at that. <laughs> Great point. When Jimmy Connors 30, serves, his, gets his first serves in, he wins 65.6 percent. When it's his second serve, it's 64.6. So it's like the same thing. And I think that's one of the things that McEnroe recognizes. McEnroe gets his break. He leads two games to love. McEnroe leads set. to love. When McEnroe gets his first serve in, he wins 77 percent, and his second serve, he wins 70.6 percent. <laughs> Good gosh! Is that during this tournament? This is during this tournament. Yep. Because a lot serve. of that was first round and second round matches, where he's going to dominate the sure. other player. Sure. But, but I got the same stats for... Normally yeah. you'd be about, what, against an even match, 70% winning on your first serve and around about 55, McEnroe on his second? I don't know. That's in the matches I can remember playing him where he's playing against Connors or someone like that. Fifteen, love. I think McEnroe's been to the net 48% of his opportunities, and he's won 72.5% of that time. Jimmy's been in 20%, and he's won 60, about 67% when he gets in there. He is starting off so sharp for having sat around all day. Love. 30, love. It does look good. Forty love. The points don't take long, do they? No, you're not going to have a lot of rallies here. First place, McEnroe is not going to stay back and rally with Jimmy. But he's going to try to end it quickly and as hard as Jimmy hits it. <laughs> He's going to try to knock it right by you. Net. Oh. Game McEnroe. Quickly a game to McEnroe. He leads three to love in the first set of this McEnroe men's semifinal. And we'll be back with more tennis action. Back at the National Tennis Center. Connors serving to McEnroe. Love three. 15 love. David Keith and Jack Nicholson looking on. Is he trying to hide or just keep warm?
What would you do, uh, Tony? What advice would you give love. Connors against that tactic of McEnroe's? Like if one he could serve him, come in himself a little bit. Mm -hmm. What he just did wasn't bad. <laughs> well, yeah, that's hard to keep doing though. best thing he could do is keep the serves going as wide as possible. Love. Kick it out to the forehand court, out to McEnroe's backhand, and on this side where he's serving, slice it out wide then. But he can't do that real well, particularly the anchor with his toss coming to the opposite side of his body, he can't really break it out real wide. There's about as wide as he can get you. Game Connors. Love game to Connors. <sighs> Got to regroup. McEnroe leads 3-1. That was a much more positive game from Connors. It must take him by surprise a little bit. You know, for his first service game of the match, he serves the first ball and the other guy just hits it and runs <laughs> to the net. Off your first serve. Yeah, you got to shake you up just a little. They are using the machine, Cyclops, to call the service line, but they've also got a linesman over there. So I think it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I do, too. Love 15. Connor's shot ticked the top of the net. We don't expect to see much misbehavior from John McEnroe today because he's apparently near the $7,500 fine quota. And we're not sure exactly. We couldn't find out exactly how much he's been fined to date, but he's close enough to that that he could be suspended for 21 days with no play of any kind. I seem to remember he's in the same position at this time last year. He was. That's right. In fact, he played in the Sydney tournament, the Australian indoors. Picked up another one there, and that put him over the limit. 15 off. Another fine, that is. not a bad second wow. serve. Do you think he forgot that he'd missed his first? Thirty. Day? You know, that's his first he days. Really tagged that one, and off a second serve. Thirty fifteen. Prime time tennis. Mm -hmm. We're going to stay with this until it's over. Those of you who are expecting to see something else this evening. It's McEnroe and Connors, and this is our third match of the day. 30 all. First double fault, McEnroe taking a long look. I'm just thinking it's quarter to 10 in the morning, Sunday morning in Australia. Can they open the tavern yet? No, they've got to wait till the end of this match. So. <laughs> but Cash didn't win. Lost 7 6 in the fifth. I think they've got some of the tavern at home, don't they? Yeah, that's right. Mark Kratzman, the young Australian, won the, Austra the uh, United States Junior Championship this afternoon. 6-3-7-6 over Becker, German boy. That Good gives, young player. That gives Mark their Wimbledon and United States titles. Oh. Ace number two. Boy, he just burned that line. 40-30. I got a feeling we're going to be calling a semi-final for Mark Kratzman one day out here too. In the open. was one did he pick that up late do you think in the I think I think he did and, and I was just thinking that uh, maybe you go straight at him on the return in this kind of lighting and everything else so if he does have a little problem picking it up you know it's going to trap him coming out of the scoreboard too and from this shot we can see the lights on the scoreboard that can be tough sometimes 
That's three aces in a row in that deuce court. Well, that one he went down the middle with. Yep. The other two were three aces that he's only at had. He did throw one double fault in there as well. Game McEnroe. Game to McEnroe. He leads four games to one. Men's semifinal action. Set one. McEnroe with a break. Connor serving at 1 4. <laughs> Fifteen love. I think Tony, the one thing that McEnroe does have, uh, Connors does have to do, is to go for his second serves. Yeah, and that's going to create some double faults. And just for him, you got to hope it's not at a crucial time. Net. Thirty love. So those two second serves that. Two points there. He went for the one down the middle on the first, and that time he went straight at the body. Mixing it up well now. Quiet, please. Thank you. He obviously realizes he's got a problem with McEnroe chipping and charging the net. Good lob. 40 love. First serve percentages, 54 for Connors, 47 for McEnroe. Connors in the middle, McEnroe looking leads. fairly calm Four right two. now. You That's just never know what's going on in the tummy, though, do you? <laughs> That's a low first serve percentage for Connors. He's usually around 70. Yeah, because he doesn't go after it quite as much. That's right. Yeah, which is smart. You know, it's uh, if he's not really going to knock you down with a serve, he might as well get a higher percentage in. So he's 54, 55 percent. Right. McEnroe is going to have to serve better than at 48. seems to me that McEnroe is standing closer to the center stripe in the ad court than he normally does. I think it's because he's not going to go as wide and Jimmy has a good forehand down the line. Love 30. So Connors has McEnroe a bit of trouble here at Love 30. Good Love return 40. from Connors there, setting up a, the volley a little short. And it's three break points for that man, defending champion Jimmy Connors. Fifteen forty. What Connors really nailed that one hander, just caught the Did tape. Doesn't choke, does he? <laughs> when he's got a break point, and he's not going to play it carefully. That you know, no. <laughs> that's not not in his blood. Bang! Now 
Now here's a good chance for Connors. Where do you think McEnroe will serve? I think he'll serve it straight into the body if he can. On the backhand side. He's got him, Connors. Connors breaks back. McEnroe leads four games to three, and we'll be back with more tennis action after this word from your local station. McEnroe leading 4-3 over Connors in the first set. Back on serve, and McEnroe serve with new, um, uh, Connors serve with new balls. Jimmy told you uh, the other day when we were talking to him, he likes that new racket, so he's getting used to it. Yep, he thinks he volleys better with it, serves a little better. He has it, 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 it led it up the, on one side, and he says that keeps the racket head, he wants that side up. <laughs> Love 15. We don't know how well he's falling in this match, though. No, I don't think true. he's come to the net yet, has he? He also says that lead tape that he has helps him roll over the top of it a little bit. He's been there twice, apparently. That's why there it is up on the top there. You just barely see it. Oh, God. seen two great matches already today. Now they're, they've had their break and they're starting to get back in this one. Great stretch and shot by Connors. McEnroe's shot hits the top of the net, so that took all the stuff off of that one. Good racket preparation. Oh, yeah. That's, his That's right in the power alley there. And then he started working the crowd, giving the fist clenching already. Lindell did some of that earlier today. Yeah. 15 all. Unusual for him. McEnroe didn't like the call, but as Tony was pointing out before, he's got to be a little bit careful. I think he realizes now that it was good. He asked someone on the side there, and they said it was good, so... Jimmy's, Jimmy's wife. said I got to be firm, solid, and alert. Not bad advice for anyone, though. No. I got to try that. <laughs> Alert's going to be out of your scope, <laughs> I think. Sir Mackner wasn't ready. Okay, and Connors. Connors pulls even at four. That's right. going to give him a, a big lift. Mm -hmm. After starting off, uh, Mackner blew him off the first three games. Four all. Mackner looked so sharp in the beginning. Quiet, please. Thank you. Pushing it, he's 
first volley yeah. for McEnroe. The last game and, and this one, he's just it looks like he's a little unsure. Of, just going to say the same thing. He's not putting anything on the first volley. He's going into the two-handed side most of the time with the first volley, when he, even when he has a choice, so he must feel that's the spot he wants to be. But you got to put a little more on it than that. Another look. Good return. Love 30. Set it up. Get the racket ready and just rip it. I think he liked it. I can't believe he got that serve back. Please. Thank you. If he doesn't get the serves back, he's going to be in big trouble. That's his real strength. That was a great passing shot because he was forced onto the back foot. Five aces McEnroe has served now. That's not a bad time 15, to serve 30. one either. Love 30 down. Good passing shot. Whoops. first and we'll be back McEnroe with more tennis five action five after four. this word from your local station. John McEnroe leads 5-4 in the first set with Connors about to serve. The winner to play five, Yvonne eight. Lindell in the finals tomorrow beginning at 4 here on CBS right after football. Shot. 15 love. I thought McNair was in the driver's seat there. He hit the ball pretty deep and had it straight up the middle. Times at the net, 27 for McNair, just two for Kyle. <laughs> in that point but it seemed to me that McNair was trying to put a little extra backspin on some of the backhands trying to give a little more junk unforced errors six by McEnroe one by Connors 15 all Connors serving four five first set I saw that ball good. I like this guy off of here, though. I just want him off. I'm not comfortable with him. No. I'm not comfortable with him. With him. Off. With him. Switch the change. Connors wants a change in linesman. Richard Kaufman is the chair umpire from Seattle, Washington. He said, I just want him off, I, and I don't know how you can do that. 
they normally won't move somebody unless they all agree that there's some justification for it. Happens in baseball, doesn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a super shot because he completely mistimed this first one. You see him going across here. Just a miss hit. Didn't see the ball properly. Connors went right at the body on the forehand side, right at the hip. Harder shot to hit. You talked about his hands a while ago, mm -hmm. Pat. Double set point. Game, first set. McEnroe, 6-4. McEnroe wins the first set. 6-4. Now Connor is still saying, I want that guy off. They're moving him right now, I think. Or the chair umpire said no. Wait till the change. And it's not supposed to be a change I now. I, I'm well, I telling you, I don't ball. care about that. I'm, I'm talking about another other time, other place, another place. You're uncomfortable. I want him off. Okay, we have to wait changeover. I've got to continue. Okay, that's a different story. So apparently he's had a run-in with this gentleman in the past. And he doesn't Second feel comfortable set. with him there. McEnroe to serve. Sort of what McEnroe went through with, with an umpire in one right. of the previous matches. And they've Quiet had run-in before. Another time, another place, he said. Fifteen, love. Love. Quite a strange first set, actually. McEnroe really? going away to three love and looking great. Connor's coming back, getting all pumped up. Looked like he was going to be a strong possibility to take the set. All of a sudden, that uh, lightning that Tony talks about struck. Okay, McEnroe. Quick game, quick game to McEnroe. Let's see if they do change. McEnroe wins first game. Well, they're not just changing set. one, they're changing a bunch. Get the, get the well, let's see if he stays now. That particular lines person has not moved. Another time, another place, Jimmy said. There's the replacement. Dinner time. It'll be Connors or McEnroe against Yvonne Lindell in tomorrow's final, live at 4 p.m. Eastern time, I should tell you. I think time. we are live right now. In case you just joined please. us and we're expecting to see something else. We started this broadcast at 11 o'clock this morning. And it's still live. Next week came on at noon. 12 o'clock, I'm sorry. We were here long before that. Nuke started playing at 11 o'clock. It's all his fault we're still here. He, he went three sets with Stan Smith. That's what Jimmy said to me when I went up the dressing room while the ladies were on. He said, this is all your fault we're late. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. I said, hey, I didn't want to stay out there that long. Incidentally, Yvonne, Yvonne Lendl is in the finals for the third year in a row. If Connors wins, it would be the same open final for the third year in a row. <laughs> Yvonne said he didn't care whether he played Connors or McEnroe as long as they went five sets. <laughs> and win the tiebreaker like he did. Fifteen 
Of course, he's probably home with his feet up right now, and these guys are still going at it. Fortunately, they, they do have a late start tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern, so. They will have time to sleep in a little bit. That one match about nine years ago, was it, with Orantes? Oh, yeah. He and played Vilas. Vil played Vilas. He beat Vilas. At, they finished at one in the morning or something, and everybody thought that would work against Orantes, and he came out the next day, played unbelievable against Jimmy. Right. He, he, he went home to the hotel where he was staying, and the plumbing didn't work. Yeah, he didn't get to sleep <laughs> till four. The only person that thought he had a chance, I remember talking to Jimmy Connors before that match, Jimmy said, hey, he's still going to be pumped up from last night. <laughs> going to be tough. And he won. They all won two. <laughs> Except the serve is supposed to do that. <laughs> Makes it look easy, doesn't it? Uh, you know, when it works, like at the set point, you just cracked one off. Just sort of glides in. even at one in the second set. McEnroe on the first 6-4. Connors has to do a little more of that, I feel. He's got to start coming in on the first possible opportunity. It's just not his game, though. You know, he's... I think he feels that if he gets control, control of the point, he can hit it deep enough and move John around enough that he can't get in. Fifteen, love. Question of... If he starts coming in more, Connors, then he'll, here's the first serve percentage. Connors back where he usually is, 74. McEnroe now in the high 50s from the high 40s. He goes for a lot more in his first serve, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. But if, if Connors starts coming in a little bit more, it'll, at least it'll break up the pattern. Sure. Give McEnroe something more to think about. 15 on double fault for McEnroe. That's just only a second. The lights high up top. We have a very courageous camera. I was just thinking about that. John serve doesn't kick out that much on this kind of a surface. It did at Wimbledon and, and gave Jimmy trouble. The second one, I think he's going to have to serve him tighter into the body. Patty. 15, 40. Or oh, did he nail that one? Double break point. <laughs> Wonder if McEnroe will come in behind this second serve. That's the 
second time he's been down a break point, had a second serve and elected to stay back. Got caught the first time in the first set. Tells me something that he's not that confident serving on his second serve and coming in. Not against this guy. That's right. They can mix it up, son. I don't think they'll do it some of the time. That's smart. See if he comes in behind this one. time but Connors gets his break he leads 2-1 second set McEnroe won the first set 6-4 Connors is up 2-1 in the second Fifteen love. after football tomorrow the winner of this will play Von Lindel. There's a surprise move, and that's the kind of thing I think 30 would be wise for Connors to do from time to time. That's what we talked about a while ago. Mm -hmm. One of the tactics he could do against McEnroe, chipping and charging. And you don't have to do it a lot, but do it just enough so they're never sure exactly what you're going to do. was a pretty good rally for McEnroe because 30, 15. he was going at Connor's strength, which is the rallies from the baseline. And that's not going to win for McEnroe, I don't think. No, he won that point, but that, that was only the battle. I don't think he'd win the war. And, and Connors likes that kind of pace. He doesn't like some of the, the, the softballs and the spins and so forth as much. He loves to jump on the speed. Here's another look. This folly is, is deep. Mac and uh, Macro makes a great cross court shot on the dead run. Hardly any backswing either. I think that's again where that loose strings help you. Get some pace on it. I just don't know how you can control it that well when it's strung that loosely. <laughs> yes! 40, 30. That's the kind of thing I think would happen more frequently. The ball just flies on you. Like a trampoline effect. Yeah, almost. exactly. Hasn't flown too much all year. It was no, lost two matches ball. and 160 or something. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> he lost to Yvonne Lendl in five sets in the French final and lost to VJ Amritrage in Cincinnati the ATP championships. And that's it. McEnroe could have gone across court on this. But Connors leads 3-1. You can't criticize his volley. No, I think he thought volley. he could go any place where it was going to work. Let's listen Quiet, now. Please. He's right for, yeah. I would guess he's going to go for something a little tighter because the balls are fast. <laughs> well, 
What did he say, 30 seconds? No, he said 10 seconds. Oh. 10 seconds left. Quiet, please. Thank you. Didn't go over very big anyway. No, that's, that's uh, I think, unnecessary. Guy's going to go make an equipment change. They don't say that when you got a broken string and you go over to change your rackets. I think it was like waving a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, you got to remember it is McEnroe. It's not like he's never paid a visit over there before. <laughs> oh, he's got it. He's returning that one off the second serve so well, the backhand down the line. That McEnroe's going to have to figure out some other way to serve the second ball or get more first ones in. I'm surprised he's serving and playing so much to Connor's two-hander, which I think most people feel is, is stronger than the one-handed side. Fifteen off. Volley. 30, 15. Six aces. Eating it up. Shot out of a cannon. 40, 30. Quiet, please. Thank you. Game McEnroe. Game to McEnroe, and it's 3 2 Connors in the second set. For the men's semifinal right, between John McEnroe and Jimmy Connors. Connors to serve, leading 3 2 in the second set. McEnroe won the first set 6 4. And this is all live live tennis, live announcers. Sort of. <laughs> It wouldn't be right if this didn't go five sets, would it? Not after the way things have gone on one of the great days in tennis today. Linda will be cash in five sets. Navratilova and Chris Everett Lloyd. Well, moving over New York, moving over New York, and that's. That's the way the moon went down for Pat Cash. After a real struggle, he really played well. Martina Lovatilova defended her championship. Love 30. There is Brett Connors. Jimmy's five-year-old son. He's going to shoot down the enemy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Looks just like Jimmy. Watch Connors play. 
in the rallies, it's, most of the time he doesn't have his feet on the ground. You no. know, he hits it, both feet are off the ground. He's always been like that. I know it. 15-30. Missed it. 15-40. Two break points for McEnroe. Been out there just over an hour now. That's the pressure there on that one, isn't it? That's his bread and butter, the cross-court backhand. But that... Macron sort of hit almost a top spin driving kind of a volume. I think it sort of handcuffed him, but it yeah, didn't get have much time. Had a vice on him, too. Here he comes again. 30, 40. Still a break point. Staying a little shaky on the volley. I just haven't seen anybody in this class of tennis take someone's first serve and, you know, hit it and run to the net. The thing is, he doesn't hit it and then run to the net. He's on the way in as he hits it. He's, he's flat on the move. Coming in. Yeah. See if he tries it again. It's out. Deuce. Connors fights back to Deuce. McEnroe a little discouraged and disgusted with himself. Incident Connors. at the end of the Lindell Cash match today, where Cash was so upset with himself and by losing or for losing, fired his racket into the stands. He's been fined, we understand, $2,000 for that. He sort of flipped it up there. He didn't, you know, throw it up there like a boomerang, but. Connors, ball change. Semi-final and Connors leads 4-2 in the second. Connors leads 4-2. Down two break points there and got some errors out of McEnroe and then finished it off with a good volley. McEnroe has made 12 unforced errors. Connors just three. Quiet, please. McEnroe asking for quiet. Connors has gotten 72 percent of his first serves in, and they already did in the first set. McEnroe is 50. Love 15. Second set, Connors 80 percent of his first serves, and McEnroe 63. Love 15. And the times at net, McEnroe has been 42 times, won 23 points. Connors four for eight. get it through a little low. I found playing out there this morning that if you get the ball landing near the service line, the good service seems to come through lower than, than normal. I wonder if it slopes a little bit. That's why I was looking at it, trying to figure out if it did around each, um, each just around each service line, the cross line. 30 all. 30 all, third double fault by John McEnroe. They had their choice on these courts, Tony, whether to, when they relayed the surface to either make it a, a medium pace, a little slower than this, or the, I call this medium fast. Mm -hmm. I think they should have gone with the one just a little slower. Well, they, they, seem, didn't. they have to do some resurfacing on them almost every year. I understand that they're sinking a little bit. And well, so can, maybe next yeah. year they will. It's a public facility, and of course it gets a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of work, a lot of play. The tournament's not going on. 
Sir, he just can't miss that shot, can he? He must have hit uh, eight or ten winners straight down the line off the second serve. I wonder when John's going to catch on to that <laughs> and start serving a second serve somewhere else. Maybe when he's lost the, lost the second set. Well, he's down a break point right now. And this would give Jimmy Connors two breaks in the second set and put him up after this word from your local station. What a great day it's been. I can't remember a much better succession of matches. Can you, Tony? I really can't. And, you know, it's not over yet. Looks as though this is going to be a set of piece. There is Peter Fleming, John McEnroe's partner. Seats, please. Thank you. And, you know, the quality of the tennis all day long has been terrific. That's the best part. It hadn't been real sloppy stuff and somebody just playing worse than the other. That's who's played a little better. Connors a serve. Well, 15. In three of the four Connors service games just said he's lost a first point on his serve. Missed About it. 30. Well, Jimmy took his time on that one too. Got down nicely. Didn't try to overplay it. Just barely pulled it wide. by McEnroe would have had Connors down triple break point. Jimmy guessed right on the smash. He's let a, a few forehands have come off his racket and gone surprisingly long. And again, maybe that has something to do with that loose stringing. When you're that loose with your racket, you've got to be very confident in hitting the ball. <laughs> Love 30 to 30 all. 30 all. There's Jimmy's brother, John Connor, wearing a CBS sports jacket. Looked like he was a little tough to swallow <laughs> there, didn't it? <laughs> like he'd like to have another jacket. <laughs> Another one of those. 30, 40. Great point for McEnroe. You can't call that chip in charge because he no. guns it. That's run, hit, <laughs> at the and same charge. time. <laughs> at the same time, right. Feeling his foot getting me on the other end. He's just feeling his uh, his calf muscle. I or, think it is. Or just bone or some just below the knee. He had a he had a chance on a short ball to get into the net, at, and he chose to stay back and rally. He was wrong footed a couple of mm -hmm. times there. He may have just jarred the muscle. What I can't understand is why Jimmy keeps serving down the middle of the forehand. Because every time he does, 
McEnroe is eating it up. It looks like he can, he, he can pick the serve coming down there. The back. Now you would expect to see McEnroe on the attack off the second serve. There is the Mac attack. McEnroe. He gets a break back. Connors bounces his racket off the Connors court. Connors leads 5-3. That's the first time McEnroe has been able to break Jimmy's serve. Yeah, I see him. He hurt. Ooh. That was during the rally. And yeah, they, they had the rally. quite a bit of movement after that. So we're back live at 3-5. Didn't look like he twisted it in any way. I think you're right. He might just jarred it when he you know, mm -hmm. put his foot down to stop. You don't slide much. No, you, sure, no, you sure don't. You jar a lot, though. Fifteen. Looks like it might have been bothering him a bit then. Yeah, he's well, favoring a little bit. I think he just didn't want to come down on it and have to stop off that, that leg. Love 30. Love 30. That serve was very effective against Jimmy Connors at Wimbledon on grass. Served right in his body and sort of handcuffed him, but Jimmy got around that one nicely. Ball sits up a little bit better here. Yep, and it's a truer bounce all the time. We'll see what McEnroe's first serving percentage is after 15, this set. I bet it's. Uh, I'm guessing it's real low because he seems he's in trouble all the time every service game now. Good serve. Seven aces for McEnroe. 30 all. <laughs> 30, 40. At set point for Connors. Very careless sort of volley there, loose. One thing about Connors, he keeps pounding that ball at you. You don't get many cheapies. <laughs> Read that one. Well. Jimmy'd like to have that one back, I think. They had sure. a lot of options, and he chose one of the soft little roll shots, and McEnroe's quick enough. That's, that's interesting. He was a bit lucky to get away with that volley. It was a great pickup that he made, but uh, he was in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> right off his knees.
Deuce. Mac and Rose won their last six or seven matches, but if Connors keeps returning like this, unless Mac and Rose can start serving a little better, Connors has got to be in there with a real shot tonight. That one we've seen replayed five or six times. Advantage Connors. Another set point. I wouldn't give Jimmy Connors too many set points. Swings at me. It's a good lob. See what a pity, eh? What a great defensive lob on a Deuce. big point. Seems to have worked it out now. That was a good shot by McEnroe. Advantage, McEnroe. If he drove that ball, it would have been up and a high volley for Jimmy Connors. They just rolled it and got it back below the top of the net. McEnroe. McEnroe finally holds after a tremendous struggle and he leads Connors uh, he trails leads Connors 5-4 in the second set. And sunrise <laughs> 6.20 a.m. Sunset at 7.19 I believe. McEnroe and Connors this is our third spectacular match of the day. Well into our ninth hour. Of U.S. Open Tennis, 1984. 15 love. I was saying this is a kind of a game where a break can occur only because uh, Connors had a couple of set points and a fight on McEnroe's serve, and sometimes you have a little bit of let down after a thing like that. We'll see if Jimmy can keep it together and hold the, win the second set. <laughs> Super shot. The approach shot was a little short. Mac, uh, Connors also long. served for the set at 5 2. So 5 uh, on, 5 3. Oh, he had 5 2 2 breaks. So he's had set points on Mac and Rose serve. This is, and this is the second time that he served for the set. If he loses this game, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. I would expect to see McEnroe on the charge here. Oh, it's good serve. Serve jammed him so he yep. couldn't get in. Yep. In fact, he finished up hitting a backhand in, in, in the alley. 30 all. on his serve. Oh <laughs> That's 
the hardest one he's hit today. Trying to close out the set. split screen here to show what both men were doing. Macro tried to pull that four-end cross court off. Look out. So we're to set a piece. An hour and 24 minutes into this match. Ready to play, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Another great five-setter earlier. Lindell beat Pat Cash. Lloyd and Martina went as far as they could go just about. 6-4 in the third. Right. Martina prevailed. McEnroe will serve. Here's another look. 15. Good stab volley here. Didn't think Jimmy was even going to get to it. And he did that one-handed on the normal, the two-handed side. And well, they cared a little. There is. <laughs> I think he's getting excited. Jimmy didn't think the serve was good. 30, 15. Thought it was wide. I saw it. All. Four double faults now by McEnroe. It's 30 all. Kidding around like that on his second serve, the ball he threw up in the air, he was saying, oh, that's, that's how bad I'm tossing it. Point like that, said all, start of the third set. Connors <laughs> gets a break. And he wins the first game of the third set. McEnroe's five double faults, seven aces, four service winners. Connors five has ace. no Thank double you. faults, no aces, and one service winner. The so one's a little bit more of a weapon than the other. Love 15.
Connors has that crucial early service break. That puts your opponent under immediate pressure. Love 30. Well, as soon as I said it, I'll think so. And it is first. <laughs> Love 30. I wonder if that would work if you were playing a guy, you know, and just <laughs> say to yourself, look, you haven't served a double yet. <laughs> You've never said that 15, to an opponent 30. when you're eating around? <laughs> Gee, you're serving well? Oh, yeah, horsing around, but not in the semis of the U.S. Open. Are you sure? Off. Good serve, that one. Nice and deep, right off the line. That's one of the ones I was talking about before that seemed to skid through low, and you can see McEnroe hit it on the bottom of his strings. Kay and John McEnroe Sr. when Connors is ready and now Jimmy does a little walking around times at the net about 50 percent in both cases but a lot more times for Mac yes indeed game Connors Connors leads two love. Connors now up two love Ladies in the third no flash set. Ladies photography, please. Thank you. John McEnroe will serve. He won the first set 6-4. Connors came back 6-4 in the second. And is up two love in the third. Three breaks in each of the first two sets. Oh, was both feet off the ground, miss hit. Teach that one. He's, he guns for it all the time, doesn't he? People love to watch him play because you talk to people at the hotel, you know, walking down the street, they stop and set Connors is something. He goes after it all the time. You know you're going to get your money's worth. 30 love. 30 love, that's eight aces by McEnroe. You should get your money's worth. You should, you absolutely. And if anyone wants a refund today, there's something wrong with him. <laughs> First serve. Love. First serve. Game McEnroe. Connors now leads two games to one, third set. And we'll be back with more tennis action after this word from your local station. Connors leads 2-1. We're still live at the National Tennis Center. Connors and McEnroe. It's been a spectacular day. Love 15. McEnroe won the first set 6-4. Connors came back 6-4 in the second, and Jimmy leads 2-1, third set. <laughs> 
has that crucial break. Off. By McEnroe, offensive lob, the top spin lob that had a lot of spin and not much else. Tomorrow, also live at 4 o'clock Eastern Time, either McEnroe or Connors against the number two seed, Yvonne Lindell. McEnroe is seeded number one, Connors is number three. It's 15 off. Lindell deserves a lot of credit for fighting his way out of that match. He was in some trouble from time to time and <laughs> got into finals for the third year in a row. We call uh, Cash serving for the match at 6-5 in the fifth and 30 love. That's trouble. And a match point. Well, Pat Cash had a great statement about it, saying that Lindell's a champion and champions get out of those fixes. Yeah. Taking the ball real early. Watch him start forward. See, he knows he's hurt McEnroe before John can recover. Jimmy's rolled it into the open court. Come back live at 40-15. He doesn't leave many clubs in the bag, does he? <laughs> no. No, if he's got a tool, he's going to use it. <laughs> He's not going to lay up in either. Good point by McEnroe. Good play by both. It was. They've been playing some great points. Defensive and offensive play. Rallies moving around. One on the attack and the other on the attack. We talked after the first set about Connors should come to the net more. And you notice, Tony, he's been coming to the net more since the first set. And it's been paying off for him, too. It's keeping McEnroe back a little bit. sort of sneak in that time and get a, a higher drive from Connors, but he nailed that thing cross court, kept it down low. It's his bread and butter, isn't it? The cross court backhand. Loves it. You, you you end up keeping your opponent from closing in so much and then your cross court shots your passing shots start to work better he's put up some good lobs today tonight uh, tonight sorry <laughs> <laughs> first serve percentage you'd figure that McEnroe would be lower if he hits it so much harder That has to be at least 12 of those now. <laughs> he keeps saying it every time he does it, but I haven't seen him miss one. Back and we're just laughing at things now. How can I be so stupid? Yeah, he said, he said how about the cross court? <laughs> how about hitting one cross court? <laughs> yeah, McEnroe missed it. Was it out? I think it was. It was out. Love 30. Ben McEnroe in trouble. Oh, 
What was he doing there with these arms? Like a third base coach. Signal. Fifteen thirty. Quickly, he gets back. It sure helps when you got a big surf. They're a little more, bit more effective in the night time, those high lobs, than they would be in the daytime. This is McEnroe. Trying to keep warm and trying to pull her son into the finals. Deuce. Sure Kay, his mother, saying, heck, I could have made that one. Advantage McEnroe. Connors. And McEnroe, ball change. Strong serving game by McEnroe. He was down left 30. It's 3 2, third set. Connors, Connors leads. leads. 3 2. It's a big live moon <laughs> over the National Tennis Center. We're live too as tennis continues. Connors against McEnroe in the men's semifinal. Now in our 10th hour of coverage. Connor serving McEnroe. Rushing the net as usual and putting that one away. Fifth, love 15. Spectacular day of tennis. Earlier, that's what happened. Tiebreaker in the fifth set. Yvonne Lindell beat Pat Cash and advances to the final. Martina Navratilova beat Chris Everett Lloyd in a tough match. Six four in the third. So she defends her title successfully. And now it's Connors and McEnroe in one of their epics. 15 all. Match an hour and 48 minutes old. Almost made it. It's one of those deals when you're on the run, you're going out of position. You either make the shot or you're going to be out of the point anyway. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 the right point. Yeah, this is a real key time in the match right now there. McEnroe's been trying to get that break back.
Hardy. Forehands let him down a few times on big points. Super backhand drive. Copy book stuff. Three all. He really stepped right into it and nailed it. Good rhythm. Nothing wrong with Connor's tactics. Approach shot was reasonably deep. Yep. Serving percentage of first serves just moved up slightly. Mm -hmm. McEnroe's up from 57 to 59. <laughs> 30, 15. Those are the kind of serves that McEnroe did so much at Wimbledon, straight at the body. He has not done it as much here. I think he might have just, uh, in the last 20 minutes, 15 minutes, taken off a little bit of pace off the serve, tried to get a more in. Number 11. Games to three, third set. This is live coverage. The winner to play Yvonne Lindell. Get him off the back. That's all. Put him on the side. Back and roll wants somebody moved. I'm not sure who. Permitted to be there. Down and walked it off in the suit. Had some discussion with the with the fellow running the scoreboard. Behind Jimmy Connors. They're asking for a supervisor to come out and see what's going on. McEnroe had a little discussion with somebody back in that area before. Okay. He wants he wants he wants to pull these off and go over to the side. Hi, Ma. This is a tennis man. Been you here, you know, I know, I know. It's their cameraman, I believe. <laughs> Not our cameraman. You want your ex no, no. Or, uh, Still photographer. He can't do this. It's an official photographic position. That's what's please. please. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go. What the hell are we doing out here? You, you, you're going to try and move ton of a 
Right. You want to try and move a ton of equipment? Right. You want to try and move a ton of equipment? Look, I don't care what you're doing back Brand. here. Just let's get going. It's We're doing nothing. Here. We're doing nothing. Well, don't get smart with me, Pudge Breath. Brand. Connors McEnroe began this whole thing, and now Connors getting into it. And just to clarify a little bit, there are official areas for the still photographers. And behind the scoreboards is not one of them. That's no longer an official area. <laughs> Three, four, third set, sets are one all. Right, uh, I was watching the crowd back here. They're all standing up, yelling out. They wanted to get into the action. <laughs> <laughs> or they want to see some anyway. They've had plenty today. <laughs> if we did hear something that offended any in our audience, we apologize. Talk about threading the needle. 15 off. Here's another look. He didn't have much room to make it here, did he? No. McEnroe looking for the down the line. He was hugging that side a bit. Connor serving, trying to get even at four. Third set. Sets are one on. <laughs> didn't climb, or did it? Out. It fell out 15, wide. Jack Nicholson again, looking on. Can he see through that? He goes to a few Laker games, too, doesn't <laughs> yeah, he? Yeah, he does. Like all of them. Yep. <laughs> Kay and John McEnroe, Sr. Very cool. <laughs> 40, 30. Jimmy's made a few two-handers cross court, but the majority of the winners were right down the line, and he's done a bunch of them. Off the return of serve and in the end of rallies. Good shot. It's a way to go after a half volley. Deuce. Hardly any backswing at all, then, was it? She don't want a big backswing on a half volley, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Should be a very short controlled stroke. a whole tennis lesson out of that rally, couldn't you? Doesn't get much better than that. Advantage, McEnroe. Anything you wanted to see in the game of tennis was there. The defensive lobs, the aggressive shots, the approach shots. They weren't exactly uh, caressing that thing either. No. They were tattooing it. It's a break point. McEnroe did a lot of running and he's breathing deep at the moment. That was perfect lob by John McEnroe 
McEnroe leads 5-3. What is that? Four games in a row for McEnroe. 3-1 down. Hey. McEnroe now serving for the set to go up 2-1. <laughs> but all starts with a great return. Yeah. <laughs> Off the of first serve. Yeah, when you get your first serve <laughs> in and serve as well as Macros, you're supposed to get somewhat of a cripple back. You're not supposed to have some cannon shot coming back at you. Not very polite, really, to attack your first serve like that. You didn't read that book. No. Love 30 very quickly and six double faults by John McEnroe. Banging the ball off his forehead. Well, that's busted with himself. Excuse me. Sorry, this has a tribute to Jimmy Connors' return to serve because he hit that ball just about as hard as does his first serve. motioning to maybe that photographer again no he said someone's watch someone's watch was shining well he picked that one down the line a good thing he got an early start that was the point where i think 15, 30. McEnroe, when he gets into trouble really hugs the net tight difficult to pass a guy when he's just crowding the net like that Nice little lob would have been very effective. It's match point or set point for John McEnroe. It says break point for Jimmy Connors. We keep talking about his return to serve. Wondering the same thing. I think he might try to gun it and come in. Okay, it's okay, he can come in. McEnroe leads 5 4, third set. McEnroe leads 5 4. We'll be back with more tennis action after this word from your local station with McEnroe leading 5 4 in the third set. Connor serving. 15, love. 
Connors came in, followed his serve in. Sets her one all. Connors <laughs> serving, trying to get even. Five all in the third. Thirty love. Thirty love. So many changing patterns, hasn't it? Really has. One gets on top and then the other. It's like it might take about 35 minutes when they first started the way McIntyre played. Yeah, he went to 3-11 the first set in a couple of bang, minutes. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Connors. Five all. Goes from surge to surge. That's the way it should be. Sammy's the U.S. Open. Should be close. Five, five in the third. Sets are one all. Quiet, please. Thank you. We may have a shave and a birthday before we get out of here. <laughs> But don't forget the serve that this guy's got. That's what McEnroe needed there, too. First serves. Down love 15. Connor's all pumped up. Got set, shuffling his feet. It was a good volley from McEnroe, mm -hmm. right down the middle of the court and reasonably deep. Forty fifteen. McEnroe trying to go six five. <laughs> oh. you can't miss that return. 40, 30. Was it about eight games ago, McEnroe said to him, how about hitting one across court? <laughs> right. <laughs> After he said, that's enough of hitting them down the line. Hit one across court for a change. Why would you want to hit a cross court when you're hitting winners down the line? Hey, McEnroe, he leads 6-5 in the third set. 
Acro leads 6-5. Raiders. That last one was a little bit later. The first four, one o'clock Eastern time starts. No flash photography, please. See Mackner trying to stop. Sort of stumbles a little bit. But Connor's lob went out. Above 15. That was a good play from Connors. That was a key point then. Took McEnroe a little bit by surprise. He hasn't served and volleyed very much. Serve percentage, Connors 76%. McEnroe 61. Both climbing a little bit. Yep. Especially right. important for McEnroe, I think. A good break for Connors that time. He goes from instant defense to offense when the ball hit the top of the net. 30 15. They'll play the tiebreaker if it gets to be six all. Yeah, that was a good pick up from McEnroe because Connor's really nailed his volley. That was one of the options we talked about earlier where you serve and come in and when the guy hits and looks up, you're standing there making a volley. Connor's has to be a little bit disappointed at missing his volley though because he was on it to make the cross court. He had a lot of places to go. 30 all. Looked like it hit right on the line because it, it skidded. Did. Scooted right through. Deuce. Boy, great volley by Connors because Max just nailed that passing shot. He's staring at the line saying, how can you, <laughs> how can how can you allow me? the ball to hit you? Can you be so unkind to me? Wow, that was, here it is right here. Right on it. Ooh. And then it skids away, so I think John thought he had a chance to get to it. Set point it was. Mm -hmm. mm. Deuce. <coughs> that is McEnroe. It was good. Yes, it was, right in the corner. Paid him right back. That's right. You hit one on the line, I'll hit one on the line. another look. We'll see his reaction when that ball was called out. All right. He said, I'm up two sets to one. I think that was a little of relief in there, too, because oh, you bet. this has been a real tough set. A grueling point. 
McEnroe surf for the set at 5-3. Connors played that great game to come back. Quiet, please. Ready to play. Keep your seats, please. Love 15. Another great return yes, by sir. Connors. trouble he leads two sets to one however he lost times the net 90 and 146 by macro 23 and 110 by Connors Macron lost his first serve of the last set that's a low percentage for McEnroe isn't it 15 30. Only 50 percent of the points he's when he's come to the net he's won it's, I think you have to give a lot of credit for that too the strength of Connor's passing shots. Plus some of, serve. some of the, the balls that John's come in, like like off the return of serve, you know, you don't always get the shot you want. You're just hoping you hit a good one. points for Connors. Set number game. four. McEnroe leads Connors two sets to one. Connors serving one love in the fourth. Fifteen love. McEnroe was the one that started off early in the first set with a break to go to three love, but in the last three sets, Connors has been the one that's got the first break. But he's down two sets to one. Two of the best semifinals oh, ever at man. the Open, wouldn't they? I would think so. The one earlier today, than it was today, Yvonne Lind will beat Pat Cash in five sets. Fifteen thirty. Martina just edged in the. Win her second U.S. Open against right. Chris, 6-4 in the third. That you was a lost good match. Three sets. I lost in three early this morning to Stan <laughs> Smith. It was all happening. <laughs> Thirty all. Biggest surprise of the day was that I won a set. That didn't surprise us. Uh huh. Why were you laughing? We gave you nothing but gracious comments. I just assumed you didn't hear the tape, though. <laughs> 30 all here.
Ace number one for Connor. He leads two love in set number four. Connor leads two love. Ball change. First serve percentage for McEnroe, not Connor. You were looking at Connor. Connor's a little higher than that. I think they're changing balls, aren't they? Mm hmm. Two minutes, or two hours, 27 minutes. The match has been going. his foot again. Seemed to have stubbed it a little bit earlier. You never know if he's in pain or not, though. <laughs> not thump that. It looks like way all the time. He got asked the other day in a press conference, 12, 30. why do you look so pained out there? And he said, well, I'm, that's, I'm concentrating. They don't tell other people in other sports they can't look serious and pained. He said, maybe tennis will get recognition for that, the serious part of it, and then people, will, people like you will stop asking stupid questions. <laughs> Sometimes it hurts to think. Love 30, Macro in trouble again. Oh, you missed one. It's one of the few That's right. backhand down the lines. Although I did notice that time that McEnroe was running straight for the line, which is a smart play after three sets. <laughs> Force him to try to hit some of those backhands across court. First serve. Two big first serves from McEnroe. Got him out of the hole. 40-30. He's serving at love two on the fourth. Okay, McEnroe. McEnroe holds. We'll be back with more tennis action after this word from your local station. Honors leads. McEnroe, please. however, leads two sets to one. Connor's about to serve. Umpire Richard Kaufman. Ask the crowd to please be seated. Yep. That in the lights. 30, 15. He jumped up in the air. He had to look up. Looked to me like he was a little casual. It was too easy. Yeah. Popped up. He thought he had a sitter. Which 30, he did. 15. 30, 15. Excuse me. That was a big point, too. That's the first gentleman of Grand Slam, Don Budge, with his wife Lori in the back, Pancho Segura, scratching his beard. 
Been here all day long. Pancho Segura inducted this year into the Tennis Hall of Fame. Everybody who's been here this day has got a beard. <laughs> That's true. Forty, thirty. Can were really upset with himself. 40-30. No, it's just not just himself. Got it back together, maybe. Connors. Connors leads 3 1 in the fourth now. McEnroe still Connors sets leads the one up. 3 1. So as you say, it wouldn't be right if it didn't go five sets, would it? Let me tell you, Close your eyes. Match time just moved to 236. That's the shot I was talking about earlier when he got the short ball. Love 15. Let's have a look at Connors now as he moves in. Now look at McEnroe. He'll close in on the net. See how he's moving forward. He's weight going forward, looking for the passing shot. <coughs> One-hander from Connors. Had to be. Yeah, pulled off a pretty good one too. 15 off. from that first court. 30. Here's the return. He went to the forehand that time on the serve. Now look at this one. Bang, there's the opening. Speed. Wasn't that far close to the line, was it? Just, really? just speed. Nailed it. I'm not sure John saw it. He might have heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Just about put us into the fifth set for sure. <laughs> 40. Not a bad shot, huh? Great That's shot. Bad. He. No place else he could have gone with it. That's right. He, he, he sort oh, of held please. it, didn't he, in the sense that McEnroe was going to start his weight moving across to the left. Not much room down the line, but McEnroe's weight was going the other way. Two break points. <laughs> 30, 40. Jimmy doesn't care for the call. Only you didn't see that one. Oh, the machine was good. Yeah. There's a 
another look at it. And there's no way you can tell on the replay. Advantage, McEnroe. Leads in the fourth set. Connors leads 3 2. This is live tennis from the 1984 United States Open. Love 15. That last game, 15-40 on McEnroe's serve, that would have just about tied the setup for, for Connors. 4-1 and two breaks. Huge game. <laughs> that 3-1 in the third set. Right. And McEnroe reeled off four straight games. To go to 5-3. Takes it moving in, short backswing, doesn't get it real deep. Connors gets a good cross court. It was a good cross court because McEnroe wasn't leaning to the left, no. was he? He was right in the middle of the court. 15-30. First serve. You gotta be kidding. Thing looked like he hit two feet out. Whatever, it's the first serve. Yeah. Ooh. 30 off. even at three all it was a good drive wasn't it he didn't try to club it he just controlled it down depth looking at the moon. Good sir, 
the racket. Connors wins the game. He leads 4-2 in the fourth. That's the hardest serve Connor he's hit. leads 4-2. That was a good serve. Actually, McEnroe didn't bang his racket. Then he's got that down to a fine technique. <laughs> he <laughs> ticks it. Yeah, he just sort of scrapes it along the ground. Fly a lot of ready. practice. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You know, it's interesting in this set, only once has a server won the first point on his serve, and that was Connors in the second game. Other than that, the other guys always won at least the first game. First point, I mean. That is unusual, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. usually the server tries to dominate the game by getting that first point. Into the net 104 times, 151 <laughs> points. Connors 26 times and 113 points, 15 all. You could get tired just running to the net 104 say, times. I need an ambulance if I went to the 104 times. Second serve coming. Fifteen thirty. Grimacing a little bit. I think his leg is hurting him some more. When he bent over that time, I think what he does is sort of puts his foot down hard and tries to twist the leg, try to see if he can get something back in place or whatever. First serve percentages. McEnroe continues to climb a little bit. <laughs> Sounds like he's tearing something loose every time he serves. <laughs> It's actually, a, along with the hitting, there's a, the grunt that mm -hmm. McEnroe has when he serves and the grunt that Connors has when he returns. They grunt when they make drop shots, though, you know. <laughs> Just thinking if Lendl's watching this match yeah. back in the hotel, he's got to be happy. They, well, they're getting a pretty he, good workout. He's getting two things he asked for. He, he said, uh, don't cut the TV off so I can watch him on TV and make him go five sets <laughs> like I did. Advantage, McEnroe. 14 aces for John. He always seems to pull one out when he needs it. Rifle that one by his parents. Deuce. Let's watch Jimmy down the other end. I think he saw it coming. Jumped all over it. That's his favorite forehand. Down the line. 
That's where it slides it just a little. He was moving into it. Yeah, body weight moving forward. That's the ideal way to return serve if you can do it. The only way you get Jimmy's body weight moving backwards if he stumbles. <laughs> <laughs> Patty Connors and Brett. Brett fighting to stay awake. He's saying, come on, Dad. <laughs> Let's go home. Break that point. Back home taking a lot of time. <laughs> now the decision to try to serve and follow it in or do you serve and stay back? He leads 5-2 in the fourth. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> we had a similar position in the second set. Connors led 5-2 serving. McEnroe broke. Saved some set points in the next game. Almost got back to 5-all. 15 love. Connors serving and coming into volley. You know, when you look at the last three sets, McEnroe's really the one that's been playing catch-up all the time. Connors has been away early in each set with a break. Hello. Didn't look like much, but it sure was effective. Wasn't it? Just right in the corner. 15 all. looking twice now that he just knocked off clean all. winners with Connor staying in the backcourt. One off the forehand, one off the yeah. backhand. Both in the same area. Where do, you, where do you serve the next ball? Connor's just mad at himself right now. Yeah, I haven't hit serves that badly this no. game. What do I have to do? Yeah. players that wouldn't be to go to the net that often in his career. Wait, 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 and then go. It's the way to do it, isn't it? Hold your position and then go. But also, you got to guess. A lot of people just stand there. You know, you're, you know they're going to go one way or the other. 
Another break point. He almost made that look easy. <laughs> Macro tries to come in behind the return again. Good serve. McEnroe gets the break. Connors has Connors two or had two. Five, Still three. has the two, but McEnroe got one of them back. That was a good serve from Connors then. He really, I think he thought he'd catch McEnroe as he was trying to run in. Well, he, he accomplished one thing he wanted to do, and that was keep him from coming in. So McEnroe still down a break. It's 3 5, fourth set. McEnroe leads two sets to one. Fifteen aces now for McEnroe. And he serves seven double faults. Connors has one of each. <laughs> one more time. Thirty, fifteen. That's as good as I've ever seen him hit that shot. Yeah, but obviously, you know, that Old side day. is open against a macro because he stands so far over to serve, but you have to be able to handle his serve well enough and direct it that well. <laughs> exactly three hours, Macro and Connors have been battling, and it's really been a battle. What was the time on the other semis, you remember? About three hours, 40 or something? I'll tell you in a second. Much more than three hours. Oh. No, I won't, because I didn't write the final time. They were... Oh. 40, 30. They were... 235 after the fourth set of the other men's semi. 340, three hours and 40 minutes. Should have stayed with my guess. <laughs> okay, McEnroe. McEnroe holds. We'll be back with more tennis action Honors after lead. this word Five. from your local station. Why, please. I've seen 123 games and two tiebreakers <laughs> today. <laughs> Connors leading 5 4 in the fourth. <laughs> Trying to even things at two sets apiece. Carbon copy of the second at the moment. It's out. 15 love. 15 love. extra time getting thoughts together yep doesn't want to let this one get away he wants to go to set five quiet please thank you we wouldn't get a serving volley out of him now would we 
I doubt it. I don't think so. <laughs> Missed it. 30 off. Makara thinks the serve was wide. Says it's good. It's pretty tough to come out and say, look at A Mark. They've played, That's you right. know, 800 <laughs> matches out there on that court. Yeah. And they don't sweep it and drag it every day like they do a clay court on Tukak court. 30 all. point by both of them wasn't it McEnroe had to come up with an unbelievable drop shot on the stretch drop volley point, please thank you Thinking, how much has it taken out of McEnroe playing catch up the whole the last Quiet three sets? Please, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it Ready would to have play. to take a lot out of anybody. He's got behind early in Settle each of the last please, three sets you. and had to fight, try to claw his way back into it. Even though he was leading two sets to one, he had still been playing catch up. Father McEnroe can't be too happy about this development. <laughs> Well, we know one thing. This is going to be the final set tonight. <laughs> we may yet run into 60 minutes, and it's not on until tomorrow. <laughs> Oh. 
one of the few he's missed when he tried that shot. Yeah, this really does work in, in Yvonne Lendl's favor because he was finished much earlier. He's had a chance to eat at a decent time and he'll get a, a normal night's sleep. These players are used to playing at night, but they're going to have to come back and play tomorrow afternoon in the winter. Whoever it is, uh, I think they're going to show up. Finals of the U.S. Open, I would think so. McEnroe really spun that second serve, didn't he? That was the one you were talking about at Wimbledon That's where right. he was kicking it away, but he hasn't been able to do that much. Well, it's this, the court is too smooth for the, the jump off to the side. It'll come up a little bit, but won't kick off as much. So it sort of sits up a little bit more and says, hit me. That one did kick some, though. Forty love. McEnroe. Ace from McEnroe at number sixteen, and he wins the first, the first game of the game final. final. Yes, final set. Connors will serve now. We're in the final set. McEnroe held serve and leads one love in the final. Another one of those where nobody should lose. That's right. <laughs> Still got some spring left in those legs. The wife of our illustrious director, Bob Daly. That's Jerry Daly. I'm sure their daughter, Tara, is probably watching all this. McEnroe now is going back to what he did in the first set. And the uh, from the first game of this set and the first two points of this game, it looks as though McEnroe has shifted to another gear. I don't know whether he can keep going with it, but at the moment he has. He's found another gear to move to. Just barely missed it. 15, 30. He's trying to take Connors. First serve or second serve that the case might, case might be and come to the net quickly. Almost from the baseline. Two break points for McEnroe. Trying to break out on top in this final set. He's out. Game. McEnroe he gets it done. McEnroe leads too low. The men's semifinal. 32-year-old Jimmy Connors against John McEnroe, the number one player in the world. Lost only five-set match of this Five, year please. to Lindell in the French Open final. Thank you. That was after having a two-set two to love lead. Points for breaks in two or three games in the third and fourth set. Yvonne won it in five. Fifteen love. Could it be possible that that man right there, Jimmy Connors, is starting to get a little tired? See he's him not move, moving his legs up and down. Yep. He's not. Something's wrong with well, him. He'd never tell you, of course. Thirty love. I know that man that just served the ball is uh, the gear I was talking about. Just Looks like he's stuck in it. Seventeenth overdrive. Rapid fire. Here's another look at it. 40 love. Eyeball to eyeball. Guns it straight at him. Hands, hands. A little late. 
little miss hit, catch the top of the net. Boy, that is quick stuff. They've been out there over three hours and 15 minutes. Dan McEnroe. McEnroe holds it love and goes ahead three love in the final set. Quiet, please. We're live still. Thank you. We're in the fifth set. Connor serving at love three. Two in a row at the net. Love 15. Here they come. Let cord gets McEnroe in trouble. One, two, two-handed volley that time by Connors. Why does he keep going at McEnroe? I was just going to ask ones. you that. Well, he I think he was trying to go down the line this time, and John guessed right. Ah! 15 all. That one just barely missed. But of the, when they get into a close following net exchange, McEnroe's got to have the edge. Well, I think once it gets going back and forth fast, then I can't really control it too well, you know. It did look like he had a lot of court he could have gone to. Yep. has hit 51 winners. Good lob. Almost pulled it off. One hand or two. That's a super shot. 30 off. Almost got knocked down with a serve. Wasn't this a great lob though? He's well back behind the baseline. Controlled the cross court and a one-hander from Jimmy. Has to take a little bit out of him. Back live 30 all. <laughs> Look out. 30, 40. Now, another break point or a break point in this game for McEnroe. This would give him two breaks in the fifth set if he can win this one. Of course, Connors has other ideas. Oh, he measured it too. He just missed it. He took his time, made a good smooth stroke out of it. I have a feeling that Connors might have broken his racket when he bounced it. I think he might have. I think he might have put it out of shape yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Because when it bounced, it didn't come back no. up. It, no, it, it just sat on the court. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that was a big point right there. And incidentally, you might especially recall if he was playing with a racket that was out of shape. <laughs> Connors served and followed it in. He's only done that a few times. Pretty gutsy play. Another good lob by Connors. Advantage Connors. That showed me a little bit of fatigue in the McEnroe legs. He didn't back up quickly. He nearly didn't jump too well for that one. Advantage Connors. Got to be tired. They're running on fumes now and adrenaline. 322. <laughs> the match. Deuce. Deuce.
They've both done a lot of work in this particular one game, that's for sure, apart from the rest of the match. Connors especially has done a lot of running. Thank you to our technical crew. They've been out here all day long as we have. They've done such a superb job of bringing you this great day of tennis. Aren't they great to work with? Quiet, please. on the board Back in the final set. Leads, three one. That one was a must win for Connors then. Back against the wall. Four love and two breaks down after a long game like that. It would have been a long, long way back. Of course you never know, Tony and Newt. Connors Quite is 32 please. years old. It could be his last serious challenge for a major title. 32 is not old by any means. Yeah, we, we, we were burying Jimmy Connors two years ago here, and he ended up winning it. And then last year, he said, well, we might be too old, lose some enthusiasm. He won it again. <laughs> and here he's battling right down to the wire in set five. First serve. That was said about Chris, too, in writing yes. that perhaps this would be her last bona fide shot at a major championship. I doubt that. We'd like to alert our affiliates that after 11 p.m. East Coast time, we will alternate commercial positions. The first position will be a network position. It's 10.53 Eastern time now. Think about letting it go or what, but didn't seem like a seem like a funny volley to you, Nick. A couple of forehand volleys tonight. Three or four oh. times he's done that, where he's let it get behind him, and I don't know whether it's the night play or or what. It's certainly well directed shot by by Connors. Connors has worked on McEnroe's forehand volley though. Most of his returns have been directed there. Unforced errors. 29 McEnroe, 16 Connors. 30 all. In fact. Returning from the first court, he has gone to McEnroe's forehand volley regularly. Notice something? Starting to cramp, maybe? No, no. Oh, big serve. Just at the right time, too, would you say? McEnroe's forehand or backhand volley is the, the safer of the two. Or is a toss-up? 
I, I don't know. I think he's an excellent volleyer, and I, I think it may be a given day at switches. But Yeah, I can't think of a reason why he would be going to McEnroe's forehand Not volley. Not necessarily. and roll. He leads 4-1 final set. <laughs> Quiet please. Thank you. Connors will serve to McEnroe. McEnroe with a 4-1 lead in the final set. And that is just one break. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. We thanked and expressed our gratitude to the technical staff, also to the production people who've been here all this long day. Amen. A very gratifying day, I might say. Probably never, never topped in the history of the U.S. Open. Well out. 40-15. 40-15. Billy Talbot was saying to me the other day, gee, I wish we had have had some better matches. Yeah. Yeah, someone said to me, well, they just haven't had any close matches, anything really exciting. And I said, they've had a lot of them. You didn't see some of them. Seen some today. Dan Connors. Dan Connors. McEnroe leads 4-2. Connors just moving his legs up and down. I don't think he's going to get cramps or be tired or anything. He's just keeping some flex in there. They might be tightening a little bit, so you stretch him out a little please. bit. He Thank works you. hard in practice, too. When he comes out to practice, he doesn't just hit a few balls and rally. He really works hard. It's in marvelous shape. You'd have to be. Fifteen, love. Checking and we changed rackets a little while ago. That's about the second or third one. Those is miss, it seems like. This can't be me. It must be the racket. How many times do you think McEnroe's been to the net now? Must <laughs> <laughs> be at what? 131? Yeah. 132. 132, right? <laughs> 30 love. 30 love. Great shot from Connors. The opening is 30, down the line, 15. but not much to work with. See McEnroe moving to cover the down the line shot. Just a great shot. Connors, you see, lifting his legs up and down. That was a solid volley from McEnroe, wasn't it? He hit it well. I think that's why he sort of stood there, because he thought he'd hit it well enough, and this late in the match, Jimmy probably wouldn't get there and make an effective shot. Now he knows. Yep. for Connors today. Really has. 30 all. Something I believe that you have to do against McEnroe. Even if you don't get it, win a lot of points that way, you've got to love him because he does get very close to the net. It's a good thing to do against mo most net rushers. You've got to use that as part of your weaponry. The 
John does, after he hits that first volley, he does keep his momentum going very much towards the net. 30 all. Connor's rubbing his shoulder and his neck. Dirty all, as you said. Connors. 30, 40. Some battle. <laughs> that late in the match, you might cramp up doing all that yeah. stuff. Thank you. <laughs> or hurt your shoulder. Yeah, I mean, maybe give it one pump and <laughs> yeah, no. save the rest. That was a six pumper. Break point. <laughs> mm. It's got a serve and volley, I think. Close. I wouldn't be a linesman for all the two in China. <laughs> Here's another look. And again, I don't you're not gonna be able to tell on the replay. Deuce. Really gotta give the Lions people and umpires a tremendous amount of credit. It's a thankless job. They do a heck of a job. with that one back and row <laughs> also a sincere salute to the ball boys and ball girls you hardly notice them around they do such a good job Connor's getting down real low Time to come up with that shot. We'll be back with more tennis action after this word from your local station. Tony Trabert and John Newcomb. And this is still live tennis. The men's semifinal between McEnroe and Connors at the National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadow, New York. Connors is out now. McEnroe comes out. I can't believe you got people leaving now. They've been here since noon or earlier. Play as long Thank as you. Yvonne Lendl, three hours and 40 minutes. So Yvonne got his wish. Connors to serve, 2 5, final set. If he's watching back at the hotel or wherever he is, uh, he's probably hoping Connors is going to come back, take it to the tiebreak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 15 love. This might be a little bit of a coasting game for McEnroe. Yeah, one way to go about it is try to hit some winners mm -hmm. get the guy in trouble if you get him down to love 30 or 15 30 work for it otherwise just sort of don't waste any energy If I were doing it, I'd go for out like winners on the return to serve and not worry about running much. Especially now. Yep. You're down. Love 30. What if you feel strong, though? I mean, you're, you're fit and you feel strong. Why not keep the pressure on the other guy? If you feel that good. You never got tired in the fifth set, did you? I was going to chase everything I could chase. I know that. <laughs> 40 love.
for winners? 40 or 15. 40 15. Connor serving. Serving a 2 5 and a 5th. Still only down one service break. <laughs> Hit the top of the net and also the edge 40, of the line. 30. And it was a slight miss hit off the racket. And you know what? He'll take it. Every time. Go back. Yeah, back. Chance to serve for the match. You know, Pat, this uh, telecast is going live to Australia three. as well, and I think it's one o'clock in the afternoon there now, just after that. I yep. think the taverns are now open. <laughs> Good. How long does it take us to get there? How long does it take us to get there? Connors has seven breaks. McEnroe has six. McEnroe serving for the match. Thank you. McEn McEnroe has the key break right now. And that's the one he's holding in this fifth and final set. Oh, boy, that's a bad break for Connors. 15, love. A great one for McEnroe. That was labeled winner all the way. That return was just ripped down the line. McEnroe really had to move quickly to get on top of that before it got below net height on the bounce. Behind him too. It was tight. Love. Close to the body. McEnroe now two points away from moving into the finals against Yvonne Lendl. Be a repeat of the French championships this year. Yep. It was a great five setter. He's not there yet. Pat Cash had 30 love serving for the match against Lendl in the fifth. Earlier today. A lot earlier today. <laughs> Ooh, big what serve. Second serve. Oh, him with a second love. serve. That was almost as fast as his first. Quiet, please. Surprise, Jimmy. Three match points. Thank you. Three hours and 46 minutes. John McEnroe advances to the final. Defeats Jimmy Connors 6 4, 4 6, 7 5, 4 6, 6 3. Great match. Great match.